Hello there, welcome to a new video. I'm Josh and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add virtual background to your webcam only when recording your screen with webcam. By the end of this video, you will be able to record your screen just like this. We will be using vMaker to record screen and webcam in this video. What's vMaker? It's a simple, easy to use screen and webcam recorder for your computer. Installing vMaker is a very straightforward process and hardly takes a few minutes. Just sign up for vMaker, download the vMaker app and install it on your computer. I've added a link to a detailed installation guide in the description. vMaker is available as a standalone application for Windows and Mac. Or you can also use it as an extension for your Chrome browser. We will be using the Mac app in this video. So the first thing that you're going to do is launch the vMaker app. I have already installed it over here. So I'm going to just launch it. There we go. By default, the screen and webcam recording option is enabled. And like you can see me over here, there's my webcam overlay. And we are going to go ahead and add a virtual background to it. Do note that you will be able to add virtual background only when you're recording your screen and webcam together on vMaker. Before we get into adding virtual background, let's just take a quick look at what are some of the options that are available for you on vMaker. So you can either choose to record your screen, your webcam or both your screen and webcam, which we will be doing right now. Moving on, there is the option for you to record your entire screen or just the window that's open on your computer. It says no active windows are available since I don't have an app or a window open on my computer right now. Or you can go ahead and record a particular section of your screen. Now when you do that, the webcam bubble will fit within that particular section for you to record. Followed by, there are the inputs for our webcam. And there's the input for our microphone. So if you have any external microphones or webcam connected, they're going to show up over here. And finally, there is the computer audio feature. This feature essentially allows you to directly capture the audio from your computer. So if there is an audio playing on your computer and you're recording your screen as well, and you want that audio to be captured, you must enable computer audio so that it allows vMaker to directly capture the audio from your computer. Now let's go ahead and add a virtual background to the webcam overlay. So here's my webcam overlay. The first thing that you can do is increase or decrease the size of the webcam overlay. There's also one more option that allows you to turn the webcam overlay into a square. So when you click on it again, the webcam overlay gets into a square shape. It does occupy a lot of space on your screen. So just go for it only if you need it. We will switch back to the circle. Now to add a virtual background, what you're going to do is click on this yellow icon, which is for virtual background. To start with, you can blur your background. So I'm going to click on blur and show you what happens. There we go. My background is blur. Now I'm going to show you how to remove your background. So you can basically have no background at all as well. So I'm going to click on remove background and you can see my entire background has been removed and my face is completely merged with the visuals of my PC. The third option is to upload an image and add it as a background to your webcam overlay. So click on upload. I have an image of Baymax over here looks really interesting to me so I'm going to select that and show you what happens. So once I upload an image it starts appearing over here so I can just select that and there we go there's Premax saying hi to you. Now to just give you some more ideas this could be your company logo or any other image that you wish to have as your background. I also have a couple of minion pictures, a logo, also the picture of Galaxy so I can get creative with my background as much as I want. Other than that, we also have some default options that you can choose from, for example, uh, office space, some really interesting designs or even a beach. So if you're looking to get creative, we have the options for them as well. So these are the virtual background. And as you can see, my virtual background has been set. If you wish to make the size of the webcam overlay bigger, all you got to do is click on this icon and the size of the webcam overlay becomes bigger as well. You can click on it and drag and place the webcam overlay wherever you wish to have it. For example, I can have it on the right side of my screen or even the left side. So it's completely up to you to decide. One more party trick is the option of adding a frame to this webcam overlay. Let me show you how to do that. So basically you just go ahead and click on frames. You can either change the shape of your webcam overlay. It could be a circle, a square, or even a rectangle. You can get a bit more creative and add a Christmas hat or a cowboy hat. Let me show you how. So there's the Christmas hat and I'm going to click on it. There we go. My face now has a Christmas hat. And you can also go ahead and select the cowboy hat as well. Looks interesting, isn't it? 
let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functional frames that are available for you for example the ones at the bottom allow you to add your name or any other title to the frame as well so i can click on this frame and go ahead and add my name to it so i'm gonna just type my name over here uh, if you want you can also add the title of the video or any other text that gives context to the viewers there are some customization options available here as well so i can change the background color change the color of the font and also change the font type there are some default font options available for you there we go my frame is customized now other than that we also have some really cool looking frames such as this one or this one so once you have added your virtual background and frame you just have to click on done and now it's time to start recording the video to start the recording, I'm going to just click on start recording. There we go. The recording is in progress right now. The screen and webcam are being recorded simultaneously. And as you can see, the virtual background looks incredible, isn't it? Let's take a quick look at the control menu. The red button is to stop the recording. There's a pause button that allows you to pause the recording. If you want to take a break or collect some thoughts, you can pause the recording and resume whenever you want. There's also a delete button that allows you to delete this video right from here. If the video goes wrong, you can delete it from here and start over. There's also a mute button to mute yourself just in case. Finally, there's the drawing tool using which you can draw or annotate on the screen. When you are done recording the video, to stop the recording, all you got to do is go ahead and click on the red button and the recording stops. As soon as you do that, the video gets automatically uploaded to the vMaker cloud storage. From there, you can either share the video by copying the link or even download the video and save it to your local storage. Did you like this video? Do give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment sections. I will answer them right away. For more such informative videos, subscribe to the vMaker YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye.